Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing pink Thai ID cards. We're specifically discussing them in the context of Thai permanent residents. And I get, I, I actually get this question more frequently than I otherwise thought. I sat down and thought about it. I got an email on this the other day and I sat down and said, you know, I actually get that question. It almost seems like once every couple of weeks. So you'll see a lot of foreigners here in Thailand that will have what's called a pink ID card. Thai nationals have a blue ID card, and that's, that's pretty ubiquitous. All Thais are going to have an ID card. But foreigners can get a pink ID card. It, as we've done videos on, it does not confer a lot of benefit in the sense of immigration. And I'll get into permanent residence in a minute, but one thing to note is the pink Thai ID card does not change one's need to file for 90-day reports. It does not change one's need to file things like TM-30. It, it basically, it just is what it is. It's an ID card. And to be clear, the reason for this is within the Immigration Act, the Immigration Act in Thailand circa 1979, the, the pink ID card hadn't been invented yet. And the yellow house book that oftentimes comes with a pink ID card had not been invented yet. And for this reason, the two don't necessarily have anything to do with one another from a legal context. That being stated, this gets a little confusing because Thai permanent residents may have a pink ID card. I'll get into that in a moment. But the, the thing to take away from this video is non-immigrants oftentimes will have a pink ID card. It does not confer permanent residence. It simply is what it is. It's an ID card. And it should, be, it should be noted, permanent residents are treated one way under the Immigration Act. Notably, they don't have to do 90-day reporting. They don't have to do TM-30, things of that. They don't have to maintain non-immigrant status, as does somebody in, for example, B visa status here in Thailand. They don't have to do that. Meanwhile, uh, non-immigrants do have to continue to do all those things. A pink ID card has nothing to do with either. It just sort of operates independently of both statuses. And in this case, it is possible for either a non-immigrant or a permanent resident to have a pink ID card, but it should not be mistaken for pink ID card conferring residence. That's not the case. It is simply, if you will, sort of an accoutrement to whatever your status is. If you've been in Thailand long term, and most of the time, if you have a yellow Tebi and Bon, a yellow house book, you generally will see those kind of folks having a pink ID card at the same time. Concurrently, permanent residents often have a pink ID card. So it is not citizenship. Citizenship is, is a blue ID card. It is instead just an ID card, and it may be granted to those with non-immigrant status or PR, but it does not confer PR upon those who it's given to automatically.